let's talk about hygiene. Hygiene is often confused with cleanliness, which is just an aspect of hygiene. Cleaning removes dirt and unwanted things from surfaces, while hygiene focuses on the prevention of diseases through the removal of harmful microbes by cleaning and other measures such as disinfection. Let's start with hand washing. We often forget that not only washing the hands for at least 20 seconds is important, but you should also consider how you dry them. Most households use a cloth towel, but actually a paper towel is a great way to finish the hand washing process, both inside and outside the home. What about sneezing and coughing? Well, you should always cover your mouth, at least with your elbow, but more effectively with a disposable facial tissue or handkerchief. Catch it, bin it, kill it. Limiting the amount of virus you take in while you breathe is crucial. Masks and good ventilation can help with that. The surfaces at home can also be contaminated and require thorough cleaning and disinfection. The toilet is most of the time routinely kept clean, but what about the kitchen? Cutting balls, fridge handles, sponges, possibly contaminated objects placed on the counters may harbor microbes that could cause food poisoning. Across the globe, governments and medical professionals are trying to educate the public on how we can clamp down on the spread of COVID-19. At the University of Arizona, microbiologist Professor Charles Gerber, or Dr. Germ, as his friends call him, has dedicated his professional career to improving hygiene in the home. For example, using a cloth towel is the most common way to dry hands in the home, but Dr. Germ has switched almost completely to paper towels. Did you know that paper towels can absorb up to nine times their own weight in moisture? It's a great way to finish the hand washing process. If you do use a cloth towel, try to have a different towel for each person in the household and wash them at least once a week. So, paper tissues are again the smart choice. Mm -hmm.